Assalamu alaikum dear students professor yamin khan jamali here the topic for today's discussion is plastids please plastids the word plastid is taken from a greek word plastis that meaning the word plastic is taken from plastis and uh, plastis meaning the synthesizer or builder synthesizers or builders and uh, <coughs> you know the plastics these are the organelles these are cytoplasmic and membrane bounded organelles which are only seen in the plant cells and a, a plant cell having suppose this is the plant cell plant cell nucleus of the plant cell you know that lies at one side not in the center it is because of the pressure of the vectors the plastids these are <coughs> Three types of the plastids. Uh, they are chromoplast, uh, chromoplast, uh, and the lycoplast. The plastids are <coughs> synthesizers of particles, especially the chloroplast and the chrom uh, lycoplast. They are involved in the synthesis of uh, carbohydrate materials such as glucose or the lycoplast. The help in the conversion of glucose molecules to the uh, starch molecules and they are also called storage bodies uh, <coughs> the plastids are storage bodies so called because uh, especially the lipoplast that is stored the carbohydrate material surplus carbohydrate material is stored in the form of starch within the lipoplast thus the plastids are called the storage bodies there are three types of the plastids they are number 1 chloroplast chloroplast number 2 is chromoplast and number 3 is lycoplast lycoplast the chromo chloro and lycoplast they are named because they are distinguishing from one another on the basis of the pigment inside them the chloro chloro meaning green they store a green pigment that green pigment is called chlorophyll because of the presence of the green pigment the chlorophyll inside they are called chloroplast chromoplast are so called because they store they have different color pigments such as the ferrophytin such as uh, the <coughs> uh, xanthophyll carotene because of the presence of the storage of different type of the color pigments they are called chromoplast because the word chrome meaning colors and lycoplast so lyco meaning the white are the colorless they store no any type of the color pigment and uh, these lycoplasts are found in the underground parts of the plants and uh, <coughs> they are called the storage bodies let us see number 1 chloroplast the chloroplast a uh, chloroplast is rod like a chloroplast is a spherical or a rod like structure a photosynthetic cell a photosynthetic cell possesses about 15 to 20 chloroplasts <coughs> a chloroplast is called the center for the synthesis of glucose meaning chloroplasts are the center for the process of the photosynthesis the chloroplast <coughs> possesses three parts let us see here a chloroplast having suppose this is the rod like chloroplast 
बट लेट इट बी वेरी क्लियर क्लोरोफिल इज नॉट ओनली एबल टू परफॉर्म द प्रोसेस ऑफ फोटोस विद द असिस्टेंस ऑफ अदर पिगमेंट्स मीनिंग अदर पिगमेंट्स सच एज एंथोफिल कैरोटीन फेलोफाइटिन दे आर आल्सो हेल्पफुल फॉर द प्रोसेस ऑफ द फोटोसिंथेसिस एंड देयर इज अ क्रोमोप्लास्ट एंड द क्लोरोप्लास्ट यू नो they are interconvertible to one another sometimes chloroplasts are converted into chromoplast or chromoplasts are converted into chloroplast that in chromoplast also help in the process of the photosynthesis and chromoplast they occur in the leaf cells they occur in the flowers and other plant cells let us see number 3 number 3 is लिकोप्लास लिको प्लास इन द डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द स्टार्ट ऑफ माय लेक्चर आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट द लिको प्लास दे हैव नो एनी कलर पिगमेंट बिकॉज़ द वर्ड लिको मीनिंग कलरलेस आर इन मेसेज द वाइट दे हैव नो एनी कलर पिगमेंट एंड दे अकर इन द अंडरग्राउंड पार्ट्स ऑफ द प्लांट्स दिस लिको प्लास दे हैव द एबिलिटी टू कन्वर्ट द सिंपल शुगर आई मीन ग्लूकोस to the uh, starch and they convert glucose to glucose they convert glucose to starch and they store it and uh, <coughs> uh, the plastids plastids how plastids are produced plastids are produced either from the proplastids proplastids pro is pro Plastids, proplastids, pro meaning early. These are the immature type of the plastids. The plastids from chloro or lipoplast, they are either produced from the proplastids or from the pre-existing chloroplasts by DNA process. Just like uh, in case of the cells, okay, cells are produced from the pre-existing cells. Uh, Uh, by DNA process, so the plastids are either produced by the DNA process from their pre-existing ones, or they are produced from the proplastids. Proplastids, these are the immature type of the plastids. These uh, immature type of the plastids are early plastids. They are either converted into when these proplastids get mature, they produce chloroplast or they develop the proplast into chromoplast or into the lipoplast it depends upon the environment which they meet suppose the proplasts they meet with the clear sunlight they are developed chromoplast if they do uh, receive proper sunlight they may develop into chromoplast or in case the if the proplasts <coughs> they develop in the absence of uh, sunlight just like in the underground pores the proplasts they develop into lipoplast and uh, that's the end of my lecture dear students inshallah we will meet in the next topic thank you very much